knowing free deployment platforms can be commercial sometimes often freelancers deploy their projects into free hosting platforms and charge their clients so this is completely okay because they are the clients are paying not just for the hosting services they are spending for the skill you possess because finding the free platforms is also a skill not everyone will be knowing this about these platforms where you can deploy for free hello all i am mithun and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i will be showing you two such platforms where you can deploy your html and css apps yes there are multiple support too but i will be demonstrating you html and css apps being deployed to these three uh, these two free hosting platforms okay we have already seen github pages in the previous lecture i showed you how to deploy your app web applications built on html and css onto github pages right so it was very exciting so that was a direct way we didn't come out of github in today's video we'll be coming out of github and exploring platforms like netlify and versal and let's see which one is easy to set up which one takes less time to build and deploy okay so we have seen that our github page okay took 50 seconds now let's compare this with versal and netlify what is the time taken for deployment too okay so without any further delay let's get started so let's see the pipeline first we have completed this process right this is already done we have written some code we built our web page we tested our web page on local machine and we also deployed on github pages now it's it's time we link this indirect platforms to github and deploy our pages okay so first let's see netlify okay so to visit netlify to deploy on netlify just visit their website netlify.com okay so they provide uh, some information about them they tell bring it all together the fastest way to combine your favorite tools and apis to build the fastest site stores and apps for the web let's see if this is the fastest way or do we have any alternatives to because it is dependent okay and see this more than 30 lakhs where developers and businesses ship faster on netlify shipping means moving from your local system to the web okay so these are some terminologies you must be knowing as a web developer okay so this is the workflow we understood what our workflow is and then it's all ready to deploy okay do visit these platforms they have a lot more of interactivity see this so i like this type of interactivity and github github is off the next level okay if you are a web developer you must be aware of these sites so you can actually get inspired from these web pages and build a more uh, beautiful web page for yourself okay so the first thing you must do is that you must create an account if you are a new user i have been deploying this since a while so i will just uh, directly deploy okay so it gives you this is the home page okay so these are the sites which are live by me it might be blank for you and the bandwidth they give is 100 gb okay the build minutes used concurrent builds team members you can also collaborate here you can invite your team members and collaborate that facility is also available okay so this is what is the interface basically okay now coming to our pipeline so first thing you must do is that we must connect github right so to do that first let's add a new site because we are building a new site right and import from an existing project okay because we have project built already and see this these are some of the platforms it provides to connect github gitlab bitbucket azure devops background everything uses a git but these are different git platforms built above the git okay so what we are going to use github on clicking on github it will open it will ask for access for the first time provide the access since mine is already granted access it it, uh, it doesn't ask every time okay it just authorized automatically okay next thing you must do is that you must search for the repository what is my repository let me know deployment of html underscore css let me search deployment underscore html okay you can just search for the first word also okay no deployment no repository response i think d e p l o y m e n t okay let's search deployment okay it will show both the private and public okay deployment of html and css okay so here it gives the owner branch to deploy sometimes you might be also deploying different branches and this option even github pages asks us right which branch should are you willing to deploy okay the master obviously so and re everything same because we have we are not deploying any uh, the complex of it it's just html css just click on deploy site okay 
it starts deploying okay just wait for some time site deploy is progress okay so one more thing is that here you can you have uh, this one free you can also call this is actually not a domain okay it's a subdomain but you can also buy some domain names and link them to okay all the free three platform supports maybe in some video i will be demonstrating that too okay now see this it got, it got deployed and this is the link on clicking on this link you can open this see this here our web page structure was our username github.io slash our repository name here it gives some random name with an extension of netlify.app if you see any website netlify with a uh, with an extension of netlify.app that means it is deployed on netlify okay some people actually keep it uh, plain or else some people actually even link it to custom domains okay but this is a way you can link it to netlify okay so this is one way where we come out of github and deploy okay in the next video we'll be seeing about versal versal like i want to know the time okay so this was very less okay okay maybe it was around 20 seconds okay i don't know but this i can assume this was around 20 seconds okay so uh, deployed in 12 seconds see this now we we need to compare this time also because uh, i use this as a measure if i give an update it does not take one minute to reflect right i want it to be up and running in seconds so this also is a metric of comparison okay so that's it about the deployment of your html and css apps onto netlify in the next lecture i will be showing you how to deploy your application on version okay however by now you have got an idea that html and css pages are same uh, being deployed into github pages and netlify using the same pipeline versal also follows the same pipeline okay so yes i hope you had a great time watching this video do subscribe to the channel and like the video drop the comment if you have any suggestions and any request which i must take up and build a video on that okay so yeah i hope you had a great time and i will be catching you all up in the next one thank you